all right so um thank you for email I'm, you're looking at here jump cut between two and three yeah which it kind of is i agree looking at this here uh that's definitely better she literally looks in as we'll blink it still feels very robotic through here you know, like she she can look in, and then at this point, oh, she's moving a lot. Like, don't forget to have eye darts. Like, imagine, imagine that the character is looking here. Like, your your eye box is here, and imagine it jumps over here over two frames, rests a bit, jumps over here. You want a little bit of activity in her eyes. You know, because right now she has those broad. I'm looking here, here, here. And I think if you do this, a couple eye blinks, uh, eye darts, then over here, and then go back. Like, don't do eye darts here. I think that's okay to kind of look at this. Uh, here, I will bring the eyes a bit lower. She's almost looking at me. Um, just bring those eyes down a little bit, and then she can blink, look a bit lower, and then have a tiny bit of dart over here. I think that's going to help. Um, there's definitely better movement. It feels a bit robotic just through here. Is it such a... At least there's some up and down in the route, which is great. There's just not really anything rotation-wise in, um, in her chest. You know, it, it's such a clean sideways walk. And then she comes down and kind of stops. You know, there's something where... She will come down here. It could have a bit of a up again, a little, a little bit of a rotation. She might adjust her shoulders a bit. And then speaking of shoulders, I feel like her arm goes up, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a bit sick. Um, you know, by the time she has that arm up, the shoulder will be up here. Then she will be kind of tilted this way, which in turn brings her neck this way, which in turn uh, adjusts her head a bit this way. It moves a bit this way. But she's going to counter this way while that hand is up here. You know what I mean? Just mechanics-wise, you're going to have to do a bit more. And same thing here. You bring up this one, uh, and there's nothing going on in the shoulders. But I think other than that, it's definitely getting better. Now, this one... <clears throat> so it's definitely cute. Uh, same thing about the shoulders. That's cute. I still like that a lot. There's still a little bit of hard hits in the plates. Right here. She goes down. Boom. And on that frame, it goes up over one frame. You want to really soften this. But it's just there. It's not too bad otherwise. This is a bit weird. You're doing... Dong, and then she starts moving. And it's... The root goes to the left. And this foot goes to the left. You mean like the root moves. And this moves. And it's very pose to pose. So I would do... And it's your root is also moving on, on a linear key, like in your graph editor. Your, your, your curve looks like this, looks like a linear key. So you want to do something where you, you ease out, you flatten those tangents. You ease out of this, right? You got to ease out of that movement this way. And so it's slower, maybe up till here-ish between these two. Then you move the, the leg. You know, it's usually we start moving first and then we move the leg. bit harsh again here how that play comes up and then goes back down it hits this one frame and it goes back down there so it's a bit of a one frame direction change and <coughs> the other thing that keeps it very uh, kind of robotic and mannequin like is you're stuck in this facial pose you have to look at you know, what are the different acting beats you have here how can she change her face to this here so she doesn't look like a robot now going to this here a bit tricky so she has this oops, uh, blah, blah, blah. the tricky thing is first of all is that she is in this position cut and she's in the same position She's framing-wise pretty much in the same position. Angle-wise, she's in the same position. So that is all a bit... It makes it all for a strange cut. So imagine... 
see what I would do is if she is looking over the other way, right? And then we see a couple of things you can do. Either we just show the phone, she's not in frame, and then she enters, like she would be this big, shoulder, the head, and she enters frame walking towards the phone. Or you can cut this a bit and imagine she's about here. Um, but you know, it's that's the back, back of her head. And here's her ear. Like we see almost behind her. And she's walking and then she turns and ends up here. I think that will be better. Like that's a weird cut because she's she's already there, she's in the same position. Um so giving a little bit of a walk up, I think I agree that that's gonna help. But it doesn't have to be like, you know, like a fifty thousand frame shot of her walking up to it. So as long as she's around here. And are we looking at her behind her, right? She just she has her back towards us, kind of the three quarter walking, maybe one or two steps. You can try that, maybe more if she's here. She's gonna take a few more steps. And the same thing here uh, as on the previous notes. So she grabs the phone, gets to this. It's very pose to pose. That's a pose. That's a pose. There's no overlap. There's nothing where. Is this reaching her head first and then she finishes the move with her arm? When she's done, is she's going to rotate the root a bit, readjust, maybe turn the head a bit? Um, you know, there's just some basic things that are still not there. This again feels very post to pose. This pose, here's a pose. I know it's cool. You can do a bit more. She can be blinking here and then pop up like two little blinks. Uh, darts, sorry, eye darts. Little darts. And then that's cool, except here, careful on that move. It's very much an IK arm because it's moving in a straight line. You gotta have an arc. See that? It's very, very straight, which gives it the same rotation in the wrist. So there's no wrist rotation change, which again looks like an IK arm. And then careful here. See, you have your, your root, it's just kind of rotating. Pivoting off the middle of the root. It doesn't feel like she's actually taking steps. So always think about always, if you're moving, how are you going to move? Is Are you going to take the side step, the step back? If you're rotating the root at one point, you're going to have to adjust the feet. Because your root is angled one way and your feet are angled another way. You're going to have to take uh, do a change there. Alright? That's kind of it. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.